I am Sandy Sweat. Uh, some people know me already through Uncle Bob's. I worked there with my brother-in-law until it closed on the 27th of last month. And I'm lucky enough to be in a new position now working for the town of Stanford. I am the development uh, director for the arts. I have a different approach for Stanford. I believe that we should be looking at the arts to bring the town back and to bring Main Street and make it alive and vibrant again. I think that we have had um, office buildings in there, we've had businesses, and there is nothing that's going to keep them here in Stanford. And they've been coming and going, and, and everyone's been trying to figure out how are they going to keep businesses here in, in the downtown area. And I believe that we are missing something that is right before our eyes. I think that we should be tapping into the natural resources that we do have, and we should be looking at the arts. Uh, there are a lot of uh, towns and cities that are very successful that have been um, brought back and, and revamped and some of the big beautiful buildings they have uh, put together and, and repainted and brought them back to life using the arts and I think that that is a direction that we should be looking at. It came to me one night I was sleeping and I, and I was worried about Uncle Bob's closing and, and the consignment store across the street was closing and I was looking at Stanford as, as a Main Street and I was looking at all these businesses that are coming and going and, and I was thinking what is it to draw, what the draw is to Stanford. And it came to me that we're, we've approached the whole thing wrong. I think that we need to bring the arts and bring our natural resources into Stanford and promote what we have and I think that would be a new beginning for downtown Stanford for the Main Street. I, I want to propose that we have a performing arts center and in there we would have uh, quilters, we would have potters, we would have music. Uh, we we're promoting, uh, one of the things that Uncle Bob's closing people were very disappointed about was the music, uh, that it was going to stop because they thought it was bringing Main Street alive and it was. I mean we were getting a, a crowd, a following. It started out a very small group and then it just grew and grew and grew and we had Christian music, we had rock music, we had the gospel singers, we had poets, we had um, people uh, telling jokes and storytelling, and it was all coming together, and, and we didn't want to lose that. So my husband, Terry, he was the one that was um, running the open mic. We put our heads together and said, on the last day, everybody give us your name and number, and we're going to make sure that we find a new place, and we're going to continue this. We're not going to stop here with the closing of the restaurant. We're going to continue, and I would like, and we, we are. It's, uh, every Friday night, we're going to meet at the L&N Depot, and we're going to have a music open mic, just like we did. Uh, it's going to be run on a donation. I'm going to have refreshments there available to buy, and hopefully this will get everything um, back to where it was and at least a foundation but I'd like to go one step further and I'd like to get music more involved in the town and Main Street I, I'd like to see a community theater community theater is is a, such a draw to people you get all walks of life you doctors lawyers plumbers electricians uh, anybody um, you, know, you might have been interested in theater when you were in high school and, and you've gone years, raised a family, and now you have the time and, and people really get into this. You have sellout crowds for community theater. I, I, I believe it would be such a draw to Stanford and, and we could be using our natural resources, tapping into them more. You have quilters around here, you have potters, you have people that belong to um, writers' guilds. All those things we could bring to downtown Stanford. I would like to see history. I would like to see us capitalize on our history more and take advantage of what we have around here and, and make a tourist attraction. Um, I was looking at the uh, stone in front of Bill Miracle's office and I, I bet you most people don't even realize that that's a stepping stone for a carriage. It needs a plaque on it. Uh, we have a jail here, the old jail, and it's used for storage right now. Those are all things that we can use and with, with very little work and we can start giving tours and, and try to promote more tourism here. Visual arts, we ha I would like to see a cooperative art gallery. Cooperative art galleries, there are uh, man, usually there are, let's say there are 30 artists and they can be artists of all different types 
and it's a museum. You can go in and, and tourists can come in and they can buy things out of the museum. And it's they volunteer their time for one day a, a month. So it's not asking anybody to man the museum on a daily basis. They have one day a month for leaving their things in there. It's on a consignment basis. And you have an art gallery. Uh, and it's a co-op and it's self-supporting. When I moved to Stanford, I drove down Main Street and I was taken by all the, the charm and the buildings that you had renovated and, and uh, I would like to see all those buildings be full and be vibrant again and, and Main Street be alive and I, I believe in my heart that art's the way to do it and I, I have some ideas and in, in, the next, uh, com in the coming weeks you're going to see a lot of me and I'm going to try to put this um, dream of mine into reality. I'm going to be working with the Art League and the homemakers, the tourism, and anybody that's got any suggestions or, or um, any dreams, I, I want them to come forward and talk to me. We can look to have Main Street of Stanford uh, thriving and busy.